So now I only need to get to the other side of this round. Wait, what? Why is he jumping around like this? Hi everyone, welcome back and in this video I'm going to walk you through level 1 of Vim Adventures and how to get to the other side. At the start you find yourself surrounded by the letters A, J, K and L hinting you should use them to move around. There is the obligatory hello world since you can't start anything programming related without it and it's a new world so that's also just being polite. There's a dude here you can talk to and he's happy that the prophecy is going to be fulfilled Spoiler alert, you're going to save the world. The game world, that is. To practice AJKNL, you need to navigate through this maze, collect the key, and open the door. Yippee! According to the hint, when you move up or down through lines of various lengths, you'll maintain the original column where you started, whenever possible. It actually makes more sense if there is text on the grass. Like this. Now let's see this in Vim first. Here is a text file with 9 lines and the digits on each line denotes the column number. So if I stand on the 2 digit and move down, I'll pass through all the 2's. But if I stand on the 4 on the first line and move down, what happens when I reach the 4th line? There are only three columns there, so the cursor will move the furthest it can until the third column. But if I move down one more time, the fifth line will have enough columns, so the cursor will be able to return to the fourth column. Moving further down, we'll pass through two on the sixth line, three on the seventh line, two again on the eighth line, and back to four on the last line. By the way, this behavior is not special to Vim, it happens on all text editors and even on Word to some extent. Going through the same example in Vim Adventures looks like this. So if you would like to skip the round blocking our way on the last line, we would need to end up either on the 6th or 7th column. For example, in this way. Repeating the same process on the next text, column 4 is not enough, so we have to use column 5, which lands us exactly on the block, which allows us to pass it. And the same goes for the next text with, again, column 5. Going through the same steps, just without the text visible on the grass in Vim Adventures, leads to the same result. You reach the princess and then the next level where you'll read the actual prophecy and learn to jump over rocks with W, B and E. Well done you! Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps. Level 1 is relatively short, aiming to teach basic movement. Next levels will cover more advanced topics, but you will always need to move around so there will be plenty of opportunities to practice this. If you liked the video and want to see more, please leave a comment below, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.